What's going on guys, Tristan24 here, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today is my Championship Match Week 37 predictions. Last week we did okay with the predictions, this week we're hoping to do a little bit better. And on screen now will be the prediction league um, from the first match week of course of results added on. If you want to be involved just comment your score predictions, it's completely free in the comment section down below. Um, and I'll do the work from there. All you have to do is make sure you comment your predictions before kickoff um, and you're in basically. So today I'll do my predictions of course. Last week um, the biggest result I got right, well the most shocking one really, was probably predicting Preston against Bournemouth spot on. I did call that one to be Preston 2-1. So um, if you're looking for uncalled for predictions, this is the place to be. Let's go. Starting off with West Brom against Huddersfield, the Friday night kickoff. I do believe Huddersfield to continue their unbeaten run in the league. Of course, recently they lost to Nottingham Forest in the Cup. Um, and West Brom last time out did get the first win under Steve Bruce against Hull. Now it is Hull we're talking about who, no disrespect to them, you know, they did just come up from League One last season. Um, but yeah, the, no, never really expected to get, you know, something out of, against West Brom because West Brom has squad the quality differences miles really. Um, but in this one, I'm going to stop dragging it out. I do think Huddersfield are going to win, and I think they're going to win convincingly a three-one win. Next up is Barnsley against Fulham now midweek. In Fulham, did beat my side Swansea five-one. I did do. Um, I did go to that one, I was thinking about vlogging it, I got a few clips but I didn't get enough footage to actually put up a vlog, I didn't think it was worth it. So I just went to chill basically and watch the game because normally I do vlog it. Um, but they weren't that good in the first half, the red card changed the game. Um, and they didn't deserve to score five goals to be honest, it's only because they had a man extra to prove their quality. In this one, Burns, they actually have a surprisingly decent record against Fulham. But I do think that Fulham are going to win this one. And 4-1 is my prediction. 4-1 to Fulham, that is. Birmingham against Hull is the next game. Um, they're both in around that area where they could get dragged into the relegation thing uh, battle. But I do think they'll have enough just about to escape. Um, it's difficult to predict these two teams. They're, they're down the bottom of the table because they're very inconsistent. Um, and I think Hull are going to get an away victory here. 2-1 to the Tigers. Blackburn against Bristol is a big game in Blackburn's season this one. Because of late they've been quite inconsistent. Um, but in this one I cannot see any problems for them. Bristol, quite disappointing at the weekend to be honest. Um, and I think they're going to be overturned once more by Blackburn this time. Uh, in a 2 0 win for Rovers at home. It's crucial they're having these home games because their home form is one of the best up there this season, isn't it? So, yeah, Blackburn, I can pack, I'm going to back them at home to get a 2 0 win against Bristol City. Next game, Blackpool take on my team Swansea. I do have a bit of a soft spot for Blackpool, but whenever Blackpool plays Swansea, I'm always for the Swans, of course. Um, and always have been, of course, and you see the flag by the side of me. Um, and everywhere, I'm a massive Swansea fan. I did go to the reverse victory of this one where Joel Pirro scored an absolutely beautiful goal um, and then late limb for Blackpool um, as they scored a late equaliser. Their fans are brilliant. Swans have sold 1,850 tickets at the time of recording um, and there's still 150 left. Um, to be sold by 3 p.m. on the day, so a lot of supporters going to Blackpool. I wish I could. Um, <laughs> if it was in a half term break, I probably would, because Blackpool is just so so good. Um, and I'm gonna back us to get a point away from home. Blackpool are no pushovers. They're a really good team. I do respect them quite a lot, um, and like them quite a lot. To be fair, they've done brilliant this season, and I do think they'll get a draw, one-one in this one. Next up is Bournemouth versus Derby. In the last few games, Bournemouth have not 
beats on Derby and the last few times these teams have met each other it's always been Derby or a draw that's been the outcome in this one I think that's going to continue I cannot see Bournemouth getting a win in this one um, of course midweek they were in action against Peterborough and they went 1-0 down and did manage to rescue a point um, but Bournemouth just slipping away ever so slightly here one uh, point out of a possible six in the last two games against teams that really should be beaten if you want to be up there pushing for autos. Um, I think they're going to drop points here as well against Derby, but I think they'll get a point. 1 1 in this one, which will be huge for uh, Derby as well. I won't be too surprised if they get the win, to be honest. I have a sneaky suspicion they will. But for a prediction, Bournemouth 1, Barnsley up. Uh, Bournemouth 1, Derby 1. Next up is Cardiff against Preston North End. Cardiff have a decent record against Preston, to be honest. Although, this season, Preston are doing a bit better than Cardiff. Um, and I think that Cardiff are going to win this one 2-1 in the end. Continue their good record against Preston. Um, I think they're just the bogey team for Preston, Cardiff. Uh, by the looks of things. Um, yeah, not too much to be said. They got a decent win against QPR. On the weekend, fair play to them. Cobble's free kick was pretty decent, not going to lie. Um, fair play to them. Uh, and I think they're going to win 2-1 at home here as well. Coventry against Sheffield United is the next game. Sheffield United blew Middlesbrough away midweek with that 4-1 thump um, then at home, I'm pretty sure it was. Um, Sheffield are just on a mad one right now course if they didn't lose the Forest that have been like four or five wins in a row for Sheffield they're really going for this playoff push they're in the playoffs at the moment um, and Coventry have been up there and aiming to get there as well this season they were in it for a large chunk at the start of the season slowly fell away and really after last week's um, outcome against the Swans where we won 3-1 you'd think if Coventry lose this game against Sheffield United the playoffs are really over for them because they did lose away uh, sorry at home in midweek as well um, to another playoff rival so I am going to say Sheffield United are going to win and that's the end for Coventry's playoff push in my opinion I think they're out of the race now after this and I'm going to say Coventry won Sheffield United 3 up next is Millwall against Middlesbrough, a massive, massive game. And if any of these two teams are going to get into the playoffs, then I do think this game will play a huge, huge part in it. Middlesbrough sit on 55 points, Millwall on 53. So Millwall have the chance to go up into eight with a win here. Can't see them winning, but I can't see Middlesbrough winning either. I think they'll settle for one, one draw at the den. Big, big game that one. Next up, we go to the city ground to see Forest against a Redden team are struggling for points recently. Um, and I can only see one outcome in this one. I think Nottingham Forest are going to win this one 3 0, I've predicted for this one. I think they're just going to dominate and get the job done early on. They're just a really well drilled team under Steve Cooper. Um, that's, you know, being a Swansea fan, I know what it's like to have Steve Cooper. Um, gets results. The performances aren't always the great us, but gets results and he uh, gets the team playing um, to get the results, to grind them out and to be resilient most of the time. Um, so for this one, Forest 3, Red in nil. I think they'll have too much quality in that Forest team, which is just stacked to the rim. He's brilliant. Peterborough against Stoke is next um, and after the midweek performances from uh, both teams where Stoke drew to Barnsley they were 1-0 down of course and Peterborough 1-0 up against Bournemouth I can only see one result here and that is another draw for each team I've gone 1-1 in that one massive point for Peterborough and the final game of the weekend is a Sunday kickoff at Kennelsworth Road, midday on Sunday. These teams basically mirror each other in the league this season. Their form, um, the wins they've had, the draws, the defeats, 
uh, the course schools conceded is all very very similar it's almost identical um, and this is a massive game in the playoff rush uh, push as well and I think the hosts are gonna, gonna win this one 2-1 QPR haven't been playing well at all recently um, of course they threw away the results against Cardiff last week as well I do think that Luton going to surprise everyone once again with another win 2-1 for the Hatters and guys that does conclude Match Week 37 predictions for the Championship I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please consider dropping a like and subscribing and make sure you comment your predictions down below to be in the prediction league as well guys hopefully you've enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one very soon if you enjoy the prediction videos and check out the premier league ones as well of course we're doing that as well with the prediction league they're both separate so do not worry about that um, but make sure you do get involved it's fun the more people we get in um it'll be more competitive and that's what we like that's why football is so so interesting so guys Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one very soon. Until then, take care. Goodbye.